Hey guys, welcome to our show. Firstly, let me hand you over to Ashley to introduce our topic. Okay, let's get straight into the topic. Everyone ask yourselves this question, why do emos write poetry? This is a tricky question, so Ashley, do you have any ideas? Yeah, thanks Ashley. I think that... No probs. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, well, before we get into answering this question, what is an emo? We need a definition. What about you, Adam? What do you think? Well, the definition from our trusty source of Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Our source from dictionary.com is a fan of emo, especially a person who is overly sensitive and full of against or adopts. A certain style characterized by dyed black hair, tight t-shirts and jeans, etc. Okay, we have a definition. I think we should begin with breaking down one of the most famous emo poets, William Butler Yeats. Yeah, well, sweet. But we'll, we'll look at Sailing to Byzantium. But before you read this, before, before if you haven't read this poem, you, you better read it before you watch it. <laughs> the metaphor, a tattered coat upon a stick, portrays that Yeats believes that his spirit may always be young, whilst his body, a tattered coat, grows old and eventually will die. Further, the imagery, an aged man is but a paltry thing, creates the image of an old man, even with a young mind himself, is still old and worthless to his young society surrounding Yeats. These pieces of imagery show Yeats portraying, portraying the dark, unknown and scary side of life. This is the characteristics of an emo and links into the description of being an emo. The dyed black hair representing the darkness. Well, in conclusion to Yeats' poem, I think we all think I think we all think. Yeah, well, I think we all think that he uses poetic techniques such as this to such success because of his emo-ness. Is that even a word? You're not a word. Why do you think that? I'm going to answer this one for Ashley. Thanks, Ashley. No problem, Ashley. Po <laughs> Poetry establishes one's intensity of emotion in a rhythmical composition of words. Being emotionally unstable creates a separation from society is an emo. Stereotypically, an emo doesn't display emotion at all on the outside. They keep it bundled up inside, creating a person who can put the most intense emotions all together at once through poetry. Yes, I get you. I can totally see this expressed in his poem. So now, I would like to introduce to you a literature teacher, John Smith, from Oxford University. Everyone, put your hands together for John Smith. What are you doing? I put my hands together, Ashley, like you told me to. Dear God. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> Anyways, Mr. Woo, Smith. I love you, John Smith. Anyways, Mr. Smith, we have a few important questions to ask. Question one. Are you an emo yourself, sir? Fortunately, I am not. Wrong. You are an indeed an emo. Question two. What is your favourite colour? Well... Yellow, of course. Well, wrong. You are an emo, so your favourite colour is black. Question three. What is your favourite type of music? Well, I'm going to have to say jazz for that one. Well, I'm going to have to say you're wrong for that one, because you are an emo, so your favourite type of music is death metal. Okay, okay. Now, guys, in all seriousness, this is a stereotypical emo. Mr. Smith, what do you think of the human condition? The human condition encompasses the unique and inescapable features of being human in a social, cultural and personal context. It can be described as the irreducible part of humanity that is inherent and not connected to the factors such as gender, race or class. It includes concerns such as the search for purpose, for purpose, <laughs> search for gratification, sense of curiosity, the inevitability of isolation or the fear of death. Well, thank you for that input. It really contributed to our knowledge on the topic. Well, guys, it was great pleasure to be in this thing. However, I must be off to catch my plane back to Oxford in one hour. Ciao. I'm not one of the people who says ciao, but ciao. Well, ciao to you too. Well, uh, thank you guys for watching. We hope you learned a little about emos and why they write poetry. Make sure you tune in for our next week's vodcast special edition on classical jazz. Shalom, hi, bye, and peace in Hebrew. <laughs>